The vast majority, in fact, were on the left wing with another little cluster around the left edge or the centre circle. He attempted more tackles than any other Arsenal player. Jesus is, in effect, a ball-winning wide midfielder who does strike in the ball for a bit, little bit extra cash. I hear this and this is all right, but I think Jesus has the ability to score a decent amount of goals. So take all of that and do the, and, and get the goals, innit? It will happen, man. It will happen. And we know he grew up in Brazil. This is irrelevant to, to the case, man. But he'll get good, man. He'll get good. So with that, just before we get into um that was a long read. Before we get into the, you know, the more contract talk and that. They told us we'd fall off in October. Steady on, man. We just have to keep going, man. Hope he proves me wrong. I mean, let him do his thing. Xhaka underrated world class cam of recent. <laughs> I was in the box last night. I hear that. I don't know what that is, man. <laughs> ah, of course I do. Nelson, Reese Nelson was always the one the academy staff were excited about more than Saka Smith. I don't know if that's true because Saka was a lot of people rated and Smith Rowe and Nelson unhelpful, but they've also been touted as the best talent out of Hayland since Jack Wilshire. These things don't help anyone, but hopefully Nelson can do that, man. And he did pick his... I mean, Nelson, Arteta always talk bigs up, Nelson. But, you know, I have to keep going. Nuno Tavares is so bad. He's irrelevant to this right now. I can't lie. MLS doesn't move me. I hear that. We got Brighton at home next Thursday in the Cup. Amen. Marcus Turam, I'm not really convinced. Still a good player, but not really convinced. Any news on Saka? We're waiting, man. Appreciate you, Swagger. Smashed, what a name. Just tuned in now. Big up yourself, DG. One of the most consistent in the game. I appreciate that, man. I don't don't think I should be praised for necessarily consistency. It comes with the territory. It's a necess necessity. But one love for you recognising that, man. So, yeah, man. With that being said, let's see what else is... Let's see what's being said in the, in the papers and all of that. New contracts for this guy and that guy and... And this guy and that guy in the third. So let's see. Before we get into that, I need to switch over to Safari because that's where I am logged in on the Athletic. First thing, Bakayo Saka, Arsenal, or better yet, Arteta, hopeful Bakayo Saka's World Cup hopes are not in doubt. I think we've indirectly already seen that, but he said, hopefully not. It was a bad kick. He was limping, but I don't see it further than that. Both foot and ankle, he got kicked a few times. So I guess we're just going to wait till the physio and the CT scans and all of that. Apparently, Arsenal make contract offer to Saliba. We've been knowing this. Um, scrolling down, Saliba did his thing, people. Eight clean sheets across 17 games. And I think him and Ben White did very well to kind of prevent Gabriel from, you know, really paying for his error where he tried to set up just the, the, the Nottingham Forest man. Um, apparently, people are... And Arsenal, uh, there's a desire from the Arsenal hierarchy to extend his contract, which is due to run until 2023, with the option of a further 12 months. The French international recently uh, addressed the subject. He said they talk a little bit um, in reference to the discussions. Apparently, those early talks have since turned into formal negotiations and Arsenal have now made an offer. That's positive because there's now progress. But fundamentally, it's not over to the fat lady sings. There is no agreement so far, but dialogue will continue as the North London side try to tie down a player who appears fundamental to Mikel Arteta's team and has many admirers across Europe. And I think I was reading this slightly before people. Was it up here? No, this, it can't be here. Sorry. But there's something else relating to Arsenal in this I think here, this this chat to the next uh, defender, Mavinenko. Mavinenko apparently Brighton want him, but and and he's been linked with Arsenal before. But in the fine print it says being left-footed and capable of building from the back has led to Manchester City and Arsenal to consider him previously. So Brighton might not be alone if the Zerbi's interest develops. So we might have to see what's going on in relation to him, folks, and what's happening there. So, yeah, scrolling back, we need to go over a couple of other... We need to go back to Google Chrome to go over a couple of other things, people. Better yet. So, yeah, keep your opinions flowing and whatnot. Uh, where is it? Where should we start? Where should we start? Let's start with this. We kind of saw this already, folks. But, yeah, Arsenal offer a new deal to William Saliba with the Gunners key to tie down the defender's future after his fine start to the season, which has seen Mikel Arteta's side keep eight clean sheets in just 17 games and rise to the top of the PL, people. So, yeah, man, we've got a bit of a wiggle room with the option of another year, but we need to keep going in it and get my man. You know, he's built on his loans he's had. And... He's doing what he needs to do now, people. Really, he's played 14 games and scored twice. Shout out to him. Keep doing what he's doing. So, yeah, man, he's confirmed talks. Keep doing what you're doing. And the price keeps going up. And you're at you, logs. Simple as that. 
Apparently, Arsenal in pole position for free transfer that will save Mikel Arteta and Edu min, uh, millions. Arsenal in pole position to sign Yuri Telemans when the Leicester midfielder's contract expires at the end of the season. We've heard this so many times. He's yet to sign a new one. United have also shown an interest. Arsenal are reportedly best place to complete a deal. Arteta is hoping to strengthen his midfield. I mean, it's great. I'll take Telemans, but I need someone in January because it don't help me if there's injuries or loss of form or we need options and we're saying, oh my God, we're getting someone in 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 the summer. It's over, really. Save that for 2023, 2024. So we'll have to see how that develops. According to the mirror, Arsenal are in pole position. Rogers has insisted that the Foxes do not need to part ways with him. It's not something we are thinking of and not anything the club have said we need to do. We don't want to be offloading our best players, that's for sure. So there's been no hint or indication we need to generate money and move them on. But of course, there's a business side to the club and they'll look at it. So that tells you we don't want to move them on, but we're going to have to. We have a number of players out of contract come end of the season. My focus has been working with him and getting the best out of the situation we're in. So everything else is not really spoken about from my perspective. We had a number of long chats in the summer. There is clearly no doubt even a young guy who is clearly focused like Yuri and very professional. It can have an impact, but he has been fully focused. He doesn't let that affect him. He's a top-class professional. He sees the game how I see it on the field. He understands what's happening with the game, with the game and... That's all he can do. Give his very best. His recent performances have been excellent. Apparently, Arsenal also remain interested in Cody Gapo ahead of January, people. And there could be a cut price still. 38 million quid, allegedly. And Van Persie's been talking him up. But I'm not too sure that, you know, there's no tangible evidence that we're getting him apart from that. So, yeah, that's that. Arsenal, Newcastle, keen on signing Hossamau. Oh, yeah, mate. According to this report, he's a, he's a target of Arsenal and Newcastle. 24-year-old 20, stock has fallen. His game time at Lyon uh, has, has considerably dropped from last season. He's barely played 170 minutes of league football this term across three games. Real Batista still monitoring him. Arsenal and Newcastle allegedly are interested as well. I still take him, but yeah, if you could get Milinkovic Savage, as it said here, why not? But that's probably dream chasing. Again, Ben Jacobs is saying Telemans wants to join us. As we know, he's not going to extend his thing. It's an intriguing one because they put in a lot of work for Telemans. They know that Telemans wants Arsenal. So this is not the type of transfer where Arsenal have to worry about player buying. If they move for Telemans, then Telemans will join Arsenal. But it's all about what Arsenal want. What's right for their chemistry and dynamic mid-season if we're talking about January? Their interest is never going to wait. It's one to watch because he's in good form now for Leicester and he's a goal scorer. Arsenal join race for championship star, uh, you know, Bereton Diaz. He, he, he used to play for Nottingham Forest and I'm sure he scored against us, but the 23-year-old's doing quite well. Ain't his contract running down. Apparently, Roger, uh, Rovers have offered Beriton Diaz, the Chile, Chilean international. Last Chile, Chilean Don we got was decent, but apparently we've been linked with him as well as Newcastle and West Ham. Uh, Sevilla and Nice have been interested, but apparently they want 15 million for a player whose deal is running down. So we'll have to see how that develops. Blackburn got a couple of guys. They got that young Phillips centre back. They got, is it Wharton, the midfielder? There's a couple of boys that will probably move on from Blackburn sooner rather than later, really. Big up Blackburn. Arsenal build for the future as Mikel sends scouts to watch 21 year old Brazilian. Apparently, we've sent scouts to watch Danilo people on Wednesday. That that doesn't shock me. If we really want to see a player, we're going to watch as many games as we can. At this point, if we've bidded for him like we did, we've done enough scouting and due diligence. This is just about keeping him form. Hopefully, we can make a bid for him and get over the line. Apparently, we are preparing a bid worth 26 million in January, people. So we'll have to see. Apparently, he, he was he was in the latest game we looked at. He was he was sub subbed after 45 minutes. Crazy. Hendrik, what a player he's going to be. It's understood, it's understood Arsenal are not expected to enter the race for Hendrik, who is wanted by Chelsea, Madrid and City, with Danilo, Mudrik and Ivan and Dika among their targets in the next transfer window. Signing Danilo will not be a straightforward task, given the fact that the holding midfielder is under contract until 2026, and he would be joining us with 137 appearances and 12 goals for his club. So he still need a lot of time to develop and make an instant impact, but he'd come with a decent amount of experience, people. Arsenal can finally land winger signing by beating United to discount a 25 million bargain. Now they're saying in January, Cody Gapo could be available for 25 million. I'm not too sure I believe that. But apparently, you know, reports in Holland are reporting that PSV are, are experiencing financial difficulties off the field. So that's probably where it comes to. So that could be good for United, Arsenal or anyone else. Arsenal started talks to sign huge talent, but his price tag has risen to 27 million. This is in relation to Jesper Lindstrup, people. 
who is at Frankfurt. So we'll have to see if that's going to get done. We've already seen the Reese Nelson thing that we spoke about. Arsenal are one of three Premier League sides competing to sign a Europa League standout. Okay. Apparently, we're looking at Danish winger Gustav Isaacson. He's playing 21 year old, currently plays in Denmark, Denmark with Michelin. He has seven goals to his name, which is the highest tally he's achieved despite only being, uh, you know, October. So, with him standing out, fitting the profile in terms of age, naturally, everybody's going to be looking at everybody, really. So, we'll have to see. Part, and he's got interest from AC Milan and Fiorentina, allegedly. Arsenal target for Kando Torres people in January as Bakayo Saka competition with talks held. Arsenal, I couldn't move this, man. Arsenal are considering a January move for Orlando City forward for Kando Torres. Arsenal are due to hold talks with the Uruguay internationals agent as they target a right winger to provide comp for Saka. He's impressed in the MLS this season. Nine goals and ten assists for a 22-year-old. It isn't the worst, people. It's quite decent. He played against us before as well, um, as it says there, people. And apparently he joined for seven. He joined from Penarel, who's a good he signed a four-year deal with the option of 12 months. Arsenal's interest in Torres is believed to be partly borne out of the findings of scout Tony Lima. Since technical director Eddie was appointed, the club has shifted to a more data-led approach when identifying talents. Uh, Arsenal do still use traditional scouting methods and Lima, he was appointed in 2021, has a strong track record of identifying South American talent and is cre credited with one of the first to spot Neymar and Philip Coutinho. I don't discredit that, but, uh, you know, not to discredit him, but Neymar's been known since about 12, 13 when he started having trials at Real Madrid at 13. And to be fair with you, I'm not discrediting anything. It actually makes me happy. But everyone can find good players. You're some, you know, let's just say our nans who don't watch football, they could watch a game of football and see the best player on the pitch is that. It's the ones you're not looking for. So everybody is the guy. And normally when it's one scout, he's been put in the right direction. But if he has been one of the first that's been onto these talents, well, why not? And not to discredit him, that's just a general talking point. Arsenal have been tracking several wingers over the past year or so. Pedro Neto, Mudrik have been name dropped. Apparently, Torres is represented by one of the biggest agencies in Uruguay. They also look after Falcando Pelisteri, who is signed by, signed by Man United not too long ago. As well as talks with Tor with Arsenal over Torres, the agency are expected to meet with United to discuss Pelisteri's future. Obviously, he's not playing games for them. Apparently, on Friday, November the 4th, the reps of Falcando Torres will travel to London to advance in a move from wherever to Arsenal. If the pass were made, Perendo has 30% of what he saw and stuff. Falcando Torres is very close to an Arsenal move next transfer window. His agents will be in London next week to close the deal. Allegedly, the talks with Torres' agents have been going on since last season. His agents are... Keep him another season, but he wants to move to Europe in Jan. Maybe that boosts his Uruguayan chances in general. He'd probably miss the World Cup, but you get the point in that regards. So, yeah, and shout out all these Arsenal accounts that, you know, do a good job of staying up to task with all the news. And that Nelson, Jesus and Odegaard are in who scored Premier League team of the, the week. Arsenal have not contacted, apparently this has said, this was the first guy to break Turner to Arsenal. Arsenal have not contacted Orlando City over a potential move for Star and Uruguay International for Kando Torres. Allegedly. Let's let's see exactly what he's had to say. Arsenal have not contacted Orlando City over a potential move for Uruguay star uh, for Kando Torres. I'm told rumours suggesting a move is very close and not true. Many clubs have Torres on their radar. Ex Orlando expect him to be in the Champions League one day. So that might pour cold, cold water on anything you know anything that's happening at the moment people so yeah that that is that's that really and truly so yeah that kind of puts a sour note on things really but the dream is free the, the arsenal is, is sold separately as you know let's big up arsenal buzz let's see what they're doing Meza Ozil's agent Ozil could never play for another english team he's not like Aubameyang he loved his time at the at arsenal is still in contact with a lot of the players, not Lee Saka. They have a special relationship. That's great, but no, it's going to take you, man. He says the relationship between Arsenal and Ozil never soured as, as much as reported by the media. He's still a welcome guest at the club. Big him up. Apparently, Yonker said in 2022, 2020, sorry, his talent was not questioned at all. Everyone could see his talent. And by everyone, I mean absolutely everyone, whether it was a coach or the opposition coach or parent or grandparent. Everyone will recognise the talent of the little boy in the youth football. You always have players who everyone sees. 
the player and thinks this is a special one, he might be able to make it. I think Reese was a great example of that. I saw him when he was 14. There was hardly any doubt about it. He's very talented. It's a long way from there to the first team, but you could see he had talent. So, yeah. I think that's it, really. Salib. So, yeah, Salib off Elkando Torres seems to be it really and truly people brendan rogers offers arsenal major hope in signing of yuri telemans do we really really seems a bit food crazy to me but let's see exactly what's been said here that was the same thing about the contracts 